Let's start with something I think you and I are going to completely disagree with. Uh, you've got Gronk had a party cruise. It's a booze cruise. It's the last place in the world I'd ever want to be with 700 Gronk heads. Uh, but you didn't like, you don't like the way the media is treating the Gronk thing. Explain if you could, Shannon. Because, Colin, you know, I was on your show about a month ago, and when this first thing about Cam Newton and about the celebration, I said if we, if we like somebody, we'll make every excuse under the sun to explain what they're doing. See, when Gronk does what he does, he's not hurting anybody. That's just Gronk being Gronk. Well, what is Cam hurting by dabbing? What, who did Cam harm by not speaking to the media or being a sore loser or a poor sport after the game? See, because a lot of people don't like Cam, well, he's setting a bad example for the kids. Kids look up to uh, Cam Newton. Kids don't look up to Gronk. Uh, here's where I disagree, and I've had, to, and I've, I've been saying this now for six months, is I think there's a term called presidential. I don't feel Donald Trump is presidential. I think he's got too much ego to be a president, so I can't vote for him. And then there's a term I've started using called quarterback eel, is that we want our quarterbacks to act like Russell Wilson and Tom Brady and Joe Montana and to be cool and calm and not showboaty. I think if Cam was a tight end, we'd love him. I think we struggle with the first quarterback of our lives that acts like a wide receiver, and we don't know what to do with it. You buy that? Why can't he be him? Why can't we say that's Cam being Cam? You say that's Gronk being Gronk? Think about this. Last night, the guy that might be president of the United States says, I love the uneducated. Think about that for a second. Now, you said presidential. He said, I love the uneducated. What if President Obama had said, I love the uneducated? What would have, ha what would have happened? What would the outrage be, Colin? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, Trump is hard you know, to— Colin, 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 we can't, we can't say if, we can't say I mean, I'm just asking a simple question. What would the outrage be if President Obama had said, I love the uneducated, like Donald Trump did, like President Trump did? What if, what if President Obama said— Man, I couldn't, I couldn't write a tell-all book because I've been with so many women, high, you know, celebrities, married women. I just couldn't do it. What would the outrage be? So do you feel with Trump and Gronk, it's a race issue? Look, we, we, we can't ignore the fact that, and, and see, and I know the argument people are going to say. They're going to say, well, it wasn't all black people that voted for, pre that, uh, uh, voted, voted for President Obama. That's how he got elected. We're not talking about that. There's nothing that's absolute. There's nothing that's all. But there is a segment because that's why president, uh, uh, president, presidential candidate Trump can say the outlandish things that he says and get a spike in his rating because there is a segment of the population that feels the exact same way. See, people think, well, I didn't say it, so I, I, if it doesn't affect me, if I don't say it, I don't see it. It doesn't exist. You and I both know we're smart enough and understand the society that we live in that it does exist. And it would be foolish of, of us to think that there's not a racial component. You and I both know. Think about the trouble that the Vikings got in when they had their party cruise. 